Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. I'm going to warn y'all, this one might sting a little. I love you, though. If you're a Cancer and you're hearing this, seriously, sending you a ton of love. Okay, from the uh, Sacral Chakra Oracle deck, you got the Desires card. And then from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, you got Nostalgia. But it's all about letting go of these nostalgia and living in the here and now. So I know a bunch of astrologers who've been talking about this all year with regard to cancers is really letting go of your past. You can't change it. You can't make it different. Release it. And this Sagittarius full moon, I'm betting for cancers is going to pull this out of you, whatever it is cry the tears, grieve the losses. I get it. It's hard. I've been dealing with this for the last couple of years myself as really letting go of my past, past relationships, past people, and they haven't all passed away. A lot of them have just naturally left my life for whatever one reason or another. Right. And so if you are still holding on to some old past shit, now is the time to let it go. And what I'm going to tell you is that the, mo- the, the, the when you choose to let that go and move forward, you're going to step into your greatest desires. That's what this, this just screams to me is that you're the life that you want, whether that's romantic or a career or um, a new role in your life is waiting for you to let go of these old stories, these old relationships, releasing and letting them go so that you can have the most magical life you could never even imagine. Letting it go and moving forward. It's all about authenticity. It's imaginative. Like this is the sacral chakra oracle deck. The sacral chakra is your sexual center. It's your creative center of your body. Okay. And so if you're feeling like you're, if you're feeling like your life is not bringing you passion, it's not bringing you orgasmic energy. Okay. It's because you're holding on to this old stuff. You're holding on to these old stories. When you let those go, excuse me, and step into what you really desire, step into your authenticity, your creative self, your imaginative self. I feel like some cancers are holding on to some storytelling or maybe some artistic ventures or endeavors. And it's all based on this whole nostalgic card, this whole like letting go of the past, really living in the here and now, because this is where you get to create from is from (laughs) my computer is gonna go to sleep soon um it's like shut up (laughs) um but yes I'm really feeling that energy of like this Sagittarius full moon is really gonna support you in releasing letting go let go of all of the old let go of all the old stories and really step into uh what's brewing for you and I'm friends with a few cancers and I know they are going through it right now they're really at that release point right now and um So I would say journal a lot, whether that's just uh, streams of consciousness on paper or you speak into your, you know, uh, 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 voice dictation thing on your device, whatever that is for you, really just releasing it all. Let the tears flow, let all the emotion out and let it go because what's on the other side of that for you, Cancer, is this magical creative uh, space. And so that's what I got for you. Again, I knew that was going to sting a little, sorry, not sorry, because that's what I do, right? It's, it's, <laughs> it's what I do. Um, okay. And so we've got the Sagittarius full moon. Sagittarius is a playful fire sign. Uh, that full moon is going to bring up a lot of releasing. And I highly recommend just really using that energy to release a lot of this old stuff. We've got Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. That's bringing up some deep lessons for a lot of people. We've got Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. That's doing a lot of big things with the systems and structures, right? We're witnessing it, but we don't have to be a part of it per se. Uh, We have uh, Uranus in Taurus. We have Mercury moving from Taurus to Gemini. 
So a lot of mental things happening, but try and like, I would say I've been hearing it from various astrologers to sort of let the mental stuff sit aside and really tap into the emotional stuff that's coming up. And then of course, in Aries, the fire sign, we have Jupiter, we have Chiron, which is an, an, um, an android, ha, we <laughs> an asteroid. Oh my gosh. Um, and Mars in Aries. And so we definitely have a lot of supportive dynamic energy astrologically to support this release that's happening for you. So use that energy uh, to release and you open yourself up to the creative person that you are, the creative being that you were, you were put here to be. So I hope you found that to be supportive cancers. Uh, if you would like a private reading with me, uh, you can email me and we can, I can bring all the tools in my toolbox to support you in whatever is coming up, including a release. Um, and so otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you a ton of love and I'll talk to you on the next reading. Have a great one.